everybody, this is Cyanic Griever coming to you on game two between Ariel's Light and NAW Rattan. We see that Ariel's is here in the three o'clock location on Longinus. The map is Longinus as the Orange Terran. And here's Rattan as the Teal Protoss at the six o'clock location. Game one was on Othello, and where we saw Ariel's uh, just uh, used uh, the cliffs to his advantage, and he just slowly pushed out, took his natural expansion. Uh, while constantly harassing Rattan and Rattan uh, really unable to to do anything to stop the the attack that came from Ariel's uh, the 100 army push as I like to call it the 100 man push uh, that came from Ariel's and uh, it'll be interesting to see if, if we see that again from Ariel's in game 2 on Longinus. Longinus is known as a uh, favorable map for Terran and we see an SCV coming out for Ariel's. Looks like he's going to go ahead and wall off the entrance to his natural expansion that's going to allow him to be able to expand and he's probably going to his idea his probably his goal right now the reason why he's getting that natural expansion is he's going to go for a, a mid game and late game kind of a, a build here he's going to go ahead seal off his front door get that expansion then get his macro going and what Rattan needs to do in the meantime is he's either needs to decide to harass with uh, some sort of uh, goon and then expand like crazy and either go uh, some arbiters or carriers or just mass up a huge 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 ground army and then try to uh, just overwhelm aerials when he tries to push out which uh, can be successful if, if Rattan is sneaky with his army and he keeps him hidden at certain locations around the map so aerials can't comp sat his entire army to see his determine his strength uh, when aerials tries to push out he can uh, flank from multiple locations and take out Ariel's that way as well. Ariel's with his barracks almost up. Gonna wall off his front door. Already taking his gas there. Rattan looks like he is. Uh, he's getting the uh, Protoss Cybernetic score. Be interesting to see if he gets the second gateway. Probe is coming up and looks like he is probably... Yeah, okay, there's the gateway. So he is gonna go ahead and get that second gateway. And... Longinus is considered a a Terran favored map, uh, just because of the the cliffs uh, in the middle of the map. Let me go ahead and, and reveal the entire map here for a second. And uh, it's considered a Terran favored map just because um, a Terran, once he gets on this high ground ledge, he can pretty much just contain a Protoss on all sides and prevent that Protoss player from leaving. Uh, his starting area, as I like to call it, the uh, the low ground area where the uh, where a player starts out. As you can see, there's a main in the top left hand corner here at the three o'clock, and then of course at the six o'clock, seven o'clock position. So, and then there's also the uh, natural expansion, the mineral only expansion, and then there's these uh, little uh, double gas expansions also scattered around the map. So of course, Ariel's getting a good look inside of Rattan's base, going to see exactly what Rattan is doing. So Ariel's better be prepared for um, a two gateway uh, dragoon rush going on here, and that's actually a two gate dragoon is actually a, a very strong opening build on Longinus, just because usually if a protest player is fast enough, he can get two dragoons to a Terran wall before a siege tank can pop out. You can see the machine shop is still in the construction and there's two Dragoons already on the way. Another SCV coming out for Ariel's just to confirm that the Dragoons are on the way. Actually a third Dragoon coming out. And the SCV also accomplishes a second goal which is to delay the Dragoons just a couple seconds longer. Ariel's looks like he's not going to go for any more Marines to protect the front door and really unless you get a bunker and fill that full of four Marines and then be willing to go the extra mile to uh, get range for those marines it's not going to do too good against uh, a full on dragoon attack which is why Ariel's doing the smart move here he's already bringing scvs off the mineral line in preparation to repair that wall a common mistake that a lot of terran players uh, make on longinus or on any map really is they don't bring their scvs over to repair the wall until they're already under attack but Ariel's doing the exact right thing here bringing his scvs uh, before the uh, wall even gets attacked so he has them, he has them there to repair uh, Dragoon range uh, not quite finished just yet, but with the siege tank out, Ariel's is going to be able to easily chase off these Dragoons, but he's got to be careful because he's not up on a ramp. Oh, so you can see those two Dragoons trying to snipe that siege tank. Uh, and now siege mode is finished, and Ariel's is going to easily be able to defend against this attack. I was going to say, right, uh, Ariel's better 
been, been careful there because what is also common on Longinus is that uh, sometimes the siege tank gets too close to the wall and the Dragoons can snipe off that siege tank which just really really hurts a Terran player because then you can see the wall is just almost coming down here and, and Ariels is forced to bring in a second siege tank move it actually and actually siege it kind of close uh, Dragoons would be able to fire upon it if it wasn't for that first siege tank in position able to uh, prevent those dragoons from moving closer and that's exactly what you need to do as a protest player is harass that terrain wall and just stay outside of siege range uh, so you can uh, try to bring down that wall and if Rattan had been able to bring down that wall uh, Ariels would have been in huge trouble but now Ariels has successfully con uh, received his second base also doing another smart move he's getting an engineering bay and that's just that's a very good opening uh, move. A lot, some, a lot of times, Terrans won't get the engineering bay until they actually see what tech of Protoss is going for, uh, the Reaver or the Dark Templar, and that's a common mistake that a lot of Terrans players make is that they don't get that engineering bay up fast enough, and then of course you got Dark Templar swiping down your door or a Reaver coming in to drop on your peons, and you don't have missile turrets up to det uh, deter the shuttles. Rattan in the meantime taking his his natural expansion you can see it's just barely warping in here and also taking this double gas expansion at the 9 o'clock location that's just a great move by Rattan when you notice a Terran player just going ahead walling up sealing up his front door and start macroing what you need to do as a protest player is that uh, one don't expand towards a Terran if Rattan had expanded here at his minor only one uh, is he not only staying at the same gas capacity as the Terran, but two, he's expanding towards the Terran. That just allows Ariels to just keep doing one big push through all of Rattan's expansions. If I place this expansion here at the 9 o'clock, that's going to uh, force Ariels to spread out his army or uh, break his army up into smaller groups. Uh, he won't, he'll either have to decide to just push the expansion, leaving the main base of Rattan open to continue to produce units from the gateways, or if he decides to push uh, at the gateways and risk leaving that expansion free to keep mining, Rotan could eventually build up enough forces to repulse the attack. So we'll see how it goes here. Just great move by Rotan though, taking the nine o'clock location because he also secures uh, two gas over the Terran, and a four gas Protoss is scary because they can just make arbiters and carriers at just a crazy rate when they get that two gas. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of tech route Rotan goes for here. Uh, last game, I noticed that. Uh, a very 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 late tech 2 arbiter he just got arbiters way too late and it wasn't able to help him so hopefully he's learned his mistake from game one and is willing to get those arbiters a little bit faster out this time especially since he secured this all this gas he should really have no trouble in getting arbiters out fairly quickly uh, he's doing a great job keeping his an observer out near the front door keep an eye on the Terrans gonna be moving out keeping dragoons in a nice circular uh, formation to prevent any scouting uh, by aerials via land route, so aerials forced to use comsats to comsat around. And I think aerials did comsat this nine o'clock location and natural, so he knows about those. But there's really not too much he can do about it right now. Right now he's just going to macro up, which you can see here by these factories producing and the uh, re machine shops researching, etc. One observer coming in for Rattan, second observer coming in, and really Rattan should be getting a, a, a lot more observers um, what you want to do as a protest player oh, some vultures sneaking past here trying to run past anyways uh, nice job by Rattan just trying to cut the vultures off the pass prevent them from getting any more scouting what you guys coming up and cut those vultures off as well and they're gonna go all the way shuttle out and uh, pylon wall going up for Rattan Try to stem the tide of uh, in case vultures come in later in the game. Two vultures checking the mineral only, and now moving right into the natural expansion. Unfortunately for Rattan, no army back at home, and so now those vultures are going to get kills. There goes uh, four probes so far, and a fifth probe, sixth probe, seven probes gone so far, and an eighth probe, almost the ninth probe, nine probes now. Shuttle ten probes. Shuttle coming in eleven probes. Wow, Ariel a lot. Wow, twelve probes. So uh, Ariel is just doing a great job, just harassing with these two vultures. And that's exactly what you need to do as a Terran player. Is you gotta if you see a Protoss expanding, expanding like Rattan is, you just have to harass his expansions as much as possible, prevent that Protoss player from getting up a very, very strong economy. And those vultures got about fifteen kills, I believe. Uh, fifteen probe kills. That's